Good day everyone, my name is Tommy V and welcome to a new episode of BST Watches. Today, we're going to be talking about three different watches. Watches that give you a little bit of more status than what they cost. Maybe you got a new job, you're a, maybe a manager recently and you want to look a little bit wealthier or a little bit more professional. So we're going to talk about three watches, starting with the most expensive one, going to the least expensive one, but all of them give you a more status look or look that is a little bit more expensive than what they cost. So let's get started. Guys, before I forget, quick wristwatch check. Today I'm wearing the 116710 BLNR aka the Batman. I haven't been able to take this watch off lately. I'm, I'm just crazy for it. All right, guys. So the first watch on the list is the Rolex Datejust. The Rolex Datejust is a very iconic watch. It was released in 1945. And the Datejust was actually the first watch to have only the date. By that time, there were already a ton of watches that had annual calendar, perpetual calendar. So you, you had watches that you could see the month, the day, the date, and a lot of different complications, but no one thought about only having the date like uh, Rolex's founder did, Hans Wildorf. Now, the Rolex uh, date just was released in 1945 and uh, was made to commemorate Rolex. It was like their, I, I believe it was their anniversary. Well, the date just became directly an uh, iconic watch, one of the most loved Rolexes like from all time. It's so iconic, you know, the fluted bezel that has uh, around the crystal, it's just beautiful. It's always white gold and sometimes you can get it with engine turn bezel, also white gold, that's a little bit more detailed. And I'll insert a couple of images here about the white gold fl fluted bezel and the engine turned bezel. Now, uh, the Datejust, you can usually find the vintage uh, examples under $4,000, sometimes $3,500, really depends the condition. Now, if you want it with a bracelet, sometimes it can be a little bit more expensive than um, having it with a Jubilee bracelet. I think that's just a really iconic look and it's just beautiful. And the same thing goes if you go for two tones. If you go with yellow gold with stainless steel together, those watches, you can have them for around $4,000, $4,500 maybe. And same thing, you have a look and maybe it looks like, most people will think you have a $10,000 watch on your wrist, maybe, I don't know, 8,000, but definitely not four. Now the Datejust is a very versatile watch. You can use it with jeans, with uh, your suits, with whatever. That's the great thing about it. It can be your only watch. And uh, actually, these three watches we're going to be talking about, all of them can be your only watch. That's a really cool thing. You can use it for formal or for a little bit more casual. So the Rolex Datejust is our first option. Now the second most expensive watch on the list is the Cartier Santos Galbe. I'm going to insert an image here. Now the Cartier Santos is actually, well people believe that might be the first wristwatch for men. In 1904, uh, Louis Cartier, with his friend Alberto Santos Dumont, who was an air balloon pilot, he needed a watch for a race. And since he needed his hands to manipulate his balloon, uh, he needed uh, the watch on his wrist. And at the time, most wrist watches were for women. Most men were pocket watches. So the Cartier Santos was born in 1904. So it has a ton, a ton of history and uh, has a really iconic Cartier look. You can see the screws on the bracelet, on the case. That's Santos all over the place. People can't recognize that look anywhere. Now the Cartier Santos Galbe, you can find it for around, for under $2,500. Um, for, it's a little bit small. It's 29 millimeters in diameter. But the thing is, it has an integrated bracelet that gives the watch around 35 millimeters. So it looks much, much bigger than the diameter that actually says. So for under $2,500, for a really good example, I'd say around $3,000, you can get a really, really iconic look. And the same thing, you can also get the two-tone model for $3,000 to $3,500. And it's so iconic. Anyone will recognize that watch and definitely they're not thinking you spend under three on it. Usually you're going to think, I don't know, five, six. Most people will think that's the new Galbe that was released last year in Basel. And that watch is around $7,000 and it looks almost the same, it's just a little bit bigger. But exactly the same look and honestly for me, the Cartier that you want to have is definitely the Santos. 
because that's the most iconic one and that watch was released even before Rolex was born. So I think that's a really cool thing about it. Now, the last watch on our list and the most inexpensive one, it's not really inexpensive because it's under $2,000, it's the Omega Seamaster Professional. Now, the Omega Seamaster Professional was released, I believe, around the 1960s and it was released in a time that Omega, they were going bankrupt. They weren't selling watches well and that, that watch, they, in its first year of release, it, it was completely sold out, it did great. So the brand went out of bankruptcy and actually became one of the biggest powerhouses there are in, in luxury watchmaking. If you know, like right now, the biggest two brands are Omega and Rolex. And honestly, the Omega Seamaster Professional has a lot to do with it. Because year right after the Seamaster Professional was released, James Bond started to use it. The Bond franchise and uh, Omega had a new contract and until now, James Bond still uses Omega watches, and I think that's really cool. So you have a watch that's really iconic. Honestly, that's the that's the go-to watch that managers do. When you get a, a promotion, you start earning a little bit more money. Usually, a lot of people wear Omega Seamaster Professionals. I see them a ton in Florida. Right now in Bolivia, I'm here for vacations. It's for vacations, it's pretty cool. But I live in Florida, and over there, I see a ton, a ton of Omega Seamasters. Usually, they're people that work in offices. And uh, I'm sure those people spend around $5,000 for their watch. And I'm telling you, you can get a quartz one, even automatic, for under $2,000. Quartz, I uh, can definitely source it for under, I don't know, $1,500. But the automatic one for under $2,000, sometimes a little bit more. But you get a super iconic look and good size. You can get them from 36 millimeter to 40 millimeter. So they're pretty big. Uh, you can get them as the size of the Batman. And that look, that, that watch is extremely iconic. Uh, I can recognize it two miles away, and I know what a lot of people do. So guys, those are the three watches that are, they give you a, a look a little bit more expensive than what you spend. They give you a little bit more status than maybe you're looking to spend. Not everyone has $10,000, $20,000 to buy watches. And you don't need plenty of them. With any of these three watches, that can be your only watch and you can definitely enjoy it and have an awesome, respectable watch and gives you a little bit of status, obviously. Now guys, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite watch and which one would you go for. Um, I would definitely go for the Omega Seamaster Professional if it would be first luxury timepiece. It's so iconic, I've already had a couple and they're just beautiful, awesome build quality and for the price, there's nothing, nothing better. But the Dejas and the Galbay, they're also awesome. So let me know, guys, which one would you prefer? And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.